So, while we're on the philosophical tip, it can be said that any way of defining someone versus <coughs> just looking at people as human beings is inherently racist itself. And there are good and bad people of any creed, nationality, origin. And I've had friends, and I still have friends. I would, I would think, I have a friend of just about every single nationality you could possibly imagine. Me, okay, maybe twelve or fifteen different nationalities. I don't know, but um, I mean, there's, you know, there's so many different varies, you know, very, 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 very uh, varieties, you know, shapes and colors, and once you get a DNA test, I think it'll help most people understand that with your DNA, you, you will understand that, like for me, for example, my came back 99.1% European, 0.2% North African, 0.2% Native American, some Icelandic, and um, it, it showed that where my ancestors treaded on this earth, where they walked, you know, upon the ground, um, and, you know, it shows how they did not mix with other people, and that's why I look like I do. And most people in Europe, especially, I would say, the northern region or the mountains, they look like me. I mean, I'm very, you know, I was a very common-looking kind of person. I have O-positive blood. And, you know, I, be I believe in, in science. And I, I was blessed. I was lucky that my grandfather was a scientist. Yeah, he healed people using something called penicillin, which a lot of people, you know, who could, you know, be on death's door, if they didn't have penicillin, they'd be dead. Just like me, if I didn't have cannabis, I'd be in a lot of fucking pain right now. So, if you're good at, like, massage therapy, you know, hit me up. I would really appreciate you giving a massage. Thank you.